The city has been swallowed by the sea. The tides have left nothing behind. Will you be able to move forward? Welcome to Lost in Tide, an apocalyptic survival game that takes place in a future where the level of the sea has risen by several meters. You play Colin, a peaceful old sailor who was unable to swim and whose boat has run aground. Your objective is to survive by exploring flooded buildings, watching out for tides and finding resources and new crew members. Here we are at the second floor. Since the first floor is constantly flooded, you can't explore it. Some of your exploration options will be limited depending on the water level. Colin has four status bars. Hunger, thirst, energy and health. The energy bar burns out when Colin performs a physical action like pushing furniture or if either the hunger or thirst bars are empty. The health bar decreases when he's injured or if he doesn't have any more energy. Inside the building, you need to collect food and water to fill up your bars, as well as materials in order to craft new objects. To do so, you have to go back to the boat and ask John, the remaining member of your crew, to craft something for you. The boat, stranded in New Orleans, is your safe zone, where you gather the survivors you can find. When you go back to the building, if the tides are high, you are able to access directly the third floor, which is not affected by the tide, however, other threats wait for you. You're going to encounter looters. If they catch you, they will steal your bag, as well as all of your belongings. Colin can't gather any more resources without his bag, so getting it back is your top priority. But everything is not grim, and you can grow your team with friendly survivors. You must gain their trust by completing their requests. Each member of your crew can make something different. Their abilities will help you explore new places along the way. Thank you for your interest in Lost in Tide.